what's up? It's me, Catherine, and today I'm going to share my top tips on how to find the perfect audition monologue. Woo! I know this video has been a long time coming. I did one very similar to this on how to find the perfect audition song. So a lot of those tips are going to transfer over. So if you haven't seen that video or if you want help on how to find the perfect audition song, definitely check it out. I'll link it in the description down below. But if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name's Katherine Steele and I put out a new theater related video on every theater Thursday. Plus I do bonus uploads throughout the week. So if you haven't already and you'd like to go ahead and hit subscribe that way you get notified for all future videos and you get to join the Theater Thursday fam. First we take over Broadway and then the world. If that didn't scare you off and you want to see more of my face, you can do so at Kath underscore Steel, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. First thing first, follow the rules. If the audition panel has said anything like your monologue needs to be a minute or it needs to be classical or it needs to be post-war, follow those rules. Number one rule for performing monologues, read the whole play. Unless it's specifically mentioned that it's okay, don't do a monologue from a movie, a TV show, or one that you wrote yourself. In my personal preference, I stay away from those monologue books that are just full of monologues that aren't from play. They're just written as a monologue. The majority of the time, audition panels don't want to hear something that's not from a published play, so I don't bother with it. And then as a personal preference, I like to have something that's from a play so I can read the rest of the play, get clues about who the character is, make it meatier. And I'm not recommending that you do crazy popular monologues. The thing is, is that there are so, so many plays that exist and so many monologues that if you want to get the most obscure, most unknown monologue on earth, you could, but also remember that in an audition situation, a really obscure monologue can be just as distracting as a super overdone one. Okay, great, so with all of these plays and monologues that exist, how do I narrow it down to the one that's right for me? Oh, good, Creepy Shoulder Girl is back. So happy to hear it. I never left. Make sure that the monologue is for a character that you could realistically play and matches your casting type. And by this I mean, as much as I love Joe Keller's monologues from All My Sons, I'm not a 60 year old man and I will never be cast as Joe Keller, so it doesn't make sense for me to be doing his rep. If you're auditioning for a specific role in a play, research which actors made that role famous. Then stock their resume to see what other plays they've done and what other roles they've played. Search for monologues in there. I'll turn Alternatively, if you're not auditioning for a specific role or if you're auditioning for something like college auditions or like a company audition where you're not really auditioning for a specific thing, find an actor who matches your casting type and see what shows they've done. Perfect place to start looking for monologues. If you're auditioning for a play but the director specifically requires that you can't perform a monologue from that show, see what other plays the author wrote. Now whenever you ask someone for monologue advice or if they have any suggestions for you, nine times out of ten they're going to say, you just need to go to the library and read through plays. Which like first off, why you gotta be so mean? Second off, it's true. It's a very time consuming process and finding good rep material is hard. Go to your local library and read through all of their plays. That's the best way to learn. If your library doesn't have a great selection of plays available, go to your local college library. I can guarantee they'll have tons of plays. Look through awards. And by that I mean, Google the list of Tony award winning plays. Read all of them. Pay attention to monologue competitions and acting showcases. That's a great place to find rep material. Additionally, there's a great feature by Backstage.com. I'm not affiliated, I'm not part of them, they're not telling me to say this, I just found this and it's really good. The Monologuer is a feature hosted by Backstage.com and it is so helpful. Basically, you put in your age, your gender, a whole bunch of other specifications, and it gives you a bunch of monologues that might work for you. So helpful. So there you guys go, those are my top tips to finding the perfect audition monologue. If you guys like this video or found it helpful in any way, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. Again, subscribe if you haven't already for more theater videos every week. I hope you guys are having a great day. Break a leg. I love you so much and I will see you guys next time. Bye!